So, uh, as you guys can see, Arena Liski making her walk to the octagon right here. Who do you guys think is gonna win this fight? You know, I'm I'm gonna get I'm giving you guys a live review here. I think I can do this part. You know, I can't show the fight, but I can show the fucking walkout. Um, so she's gonna be fighting, and uh, you know, Ariana Lipsky, she's not the best fighter in the world. I mean, she got knocked out in her last fight or something, or she got submitted. Who did she lose to in her last fight? Who did she get ragdolled by? That other girl knocked her out, submitted her, finished her on the ground. I mean, she's cute. She's pretty, but that's about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, she's a pretty face, but she's not a good fighter. That's, that's, I mean, come on. I, I don't know if I can say that with all honesty. You know, maybe she'll prove me wrong here. You know, maybe she'll knock this bitch out that she's fighting. Who's she fighting? She's fighting, uh, who, who, who's, who's this girl? What's her name? She's fighting Mandy Bohm. Okay, uh, that's it. That's an interesting person. I mean, she's a, a stand-up fighter, so she's not really a ground fighter. Uh, she's more of a striker. And we're going to find out here, ladies and gentlemen, if whoever is the better fighter... I mean, we all know who the prettier fighter is. You know, Arian Alipsky is definitely prettier than Mandy Bohm. She's, you know, she, she bad, she bad, she bad, she a bad bitch. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I mean, I think she's pretty, you know. She's a very attractive girl. You know, uh, softens your heart, but hardens your dick. That's what she does. For you and me both. <laughs> Mandy Bomb. She coming in there to get slaughtered and shit. Look at her game face. She got a game face on. <laughs> she got her game face on, baby. Let's go. But I mean, like, you know, what is a pretty girl like her, Ariana Lipsky, doing fighting in the UFC? You know, she could be doing modeling. She could be a porn star. She could be an OnlyFans girl. I mean, it's her own choice. She can fight if she wants to. But what are you doing fighting? You're you're pretty as fuck. <laughs> like, I mean, she. If I, if I was if I was that pretty, I would not be fighting right now. That's what I gotta say. So after the first round with Mandy Bohm and Ariana Lipsky, clearly Ariana Lipsky, the pretty bitch, she won the fight. She won the first round, clearly. Um, Bohm tried to go for a takedown with the double underhooks in the trips, but her head positioning wasn't the best, and she got out scrambled, and Ariana Lipsky was on the ground on top of her, but I thought Ariana Lipsky would have a better ground game, because she wasn't even grounding and pounding, she was just laying in full guard, like, doing nothing, you're on top, but you don't want to take advantage, you don't want to posture up and maybe go for some ground and pound, and Mandy Bohm, I kind of was kind of annoyed with the body lock from the bottom. Like, what are you doing with the body lock? You literally can't do anything. That's not going to do anything for you. It's not going to submit her with the body lock. I mean, from the bottom, you're not even on her back. Like, what are you doing a body lock for? Makes no sense. Um, okay, and actually, Ariana Lipsky actually did hurt her in the second, in the first round. She hurt her. And uh, Mandy Ball was showing some high fight IQ because she, you know, closed the distance and just grabbed her because she was about to get finished. And that's what you do when you're about to get finished. You close the distance and you grapple because you're about to get knocked out. Uh, unless your opponent's a black belt of the highest caliber, you probably don't want to gra grapple like Conor McGregor. <laughs> the way he shoots for a takedown after he, after he gets clipped with a shot. Or if he gets tired, he shoots for a takedown. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try to take you down? That's what Khabib said in his voice. It's pretty funny. Oh, man. This is a good fight. I mean, Mandy Bohm, I feel like she's losing the fight. The momentum is kind of slipping. The fight's slipping away from her, man. She's not winning the fight right now. So she needs to make some adjustments now. Like, you got to change up quick time. Your, your game plan needs to change up quick. You know, getting to the UFC and actually staying in the UFC is two different things. You know, uh... If she loses this fight and she loses her next fight, it's over. She's out of there. She's getting released. So she needs to win this fight. Pretty important that she wins this fight. Damn. 
Lipsky almost knocked this bitch out. Like, she hit her with the left hook. Knocked her down. Mandy Bohm was on the ground about to get finished. And then the round ends. She is the luckiest bitch on the planet. I didn't think Ariana Lipsky was this powerful, man. This this girl, she got the looks and she got the hands. Damn, like, imagine that. Like, you pretty as a bitch and she actually got hands and she could fight. She got finished in her last fight. So I'm like, okay, I thought she was a garbage fighter, but she can fight. You know, she's she's a tough girl. And uh, Mandy Bohm, I don't know if she's UFC material. You know, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say it, but it seems like Aaron Lipsky is going to send her back to the B-Leagues after this fight. Send her back to the Little Leagues. Get get her get her out of the UFC, you know, send her out. Like, if, he, if she finishes her here, she might get released because that would be a bad look. Getting finished by a pretty bit, by a pretty girl? A pretty girl knocks you out. Damn. You know, um, Mandy Bohm, man, just respect, you know, because she's a tough and durable fighter. You know, in the third round, there was moments where she could have been finished. Ariana Lipsky can actually punch, but the thing is, Mandy Bohm just not experienced level, enough for the le UFC level, you know. Um, even girls like Lipsky are you about to finish here? I don't know if she should be in the UFC right now, you know. Maybe she should fight a bit more in those B-leagues. And then come back because right now she's kind of not looking too good because she almost got finished by Ariana Lipsky. She got knocked down in the second round and the third round. She got knocked down in the third round, knocked down in the third round. And I thought the ref was going to stop it, but she did very well. She went for the takedown, the double leg, but I mean, the double leg was just to survive. You know, I feel like she definitely quit in this fight because she didn't take any chances. If you're losing a fight, there's two things you can do. You can go forward and try to win the fight and finish the fight because she was down two rounds to nothing going into the third round. If you're down two rounds going into the third, you need to pick the pace up and try to knock this bitch out. If you stand back and just wait and try to counter, then I can tell that you've already given up on the fight and your biggest objective is to not get finished. That's, that reeks of bullshit. That, that disgusts me. Because you're not trying to win the fight. You're just trying to survive at this point. And that is disgusting to me. Because, I mean, I get it. You know, she has to play the game. You know, if, if she gets finished, then that looks bad for the UFC and she may get released. But if she doesn't get finished and she loses a big time unanimous decision, then she may get another chance to fight again. So, And that means another payday. Right? So it's like, okay. I get it. I get the game. But at the same time, I don't respect it. I don't respect it, man. It's not something I can respect. No, no. Nope. 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 Not at all.